Here we show an introduction to the stretch tuning using IC Piano Tuner. When we play a piano string, there are a lot of pitches coming of the sound. Ideally, the higher pitches should have frequencies being multiples of the frequency of the lowest pitch. In reality, they tend to shift slightly higher. So if we tune all strings according to the standard equal temperament, it will create a lot of excessive beatings when we play multiple keys. To mitigate the effect, we increase slightly the intervals among the piano keys. That is what the stretch means. Every piano is different, so the amount of the stretch tuning will be different for different pianos. Now, we start the stretch tuning process. We use only one string from each key for stretch tuning. So remember to mute the other strings. To make sure we are on the same page, let's reset the program with a few clicks. So after we click the setup, this setup panel pop up, and we can click the reset button, and then click OK. After reset, Let's do the stretch tuning by clicking this checkbox for the middle octave C4 to B4, which has 12 keys. This pop-up window is asking input for the cumulative stretch error. If this is the first time or you haven't tuned for long, we can do a quick play through the 12 keys without tuning to get the value of the error. We don't need to enter anything for this window. Here comes the 12 keys starting from A4. There are 5 perfect fifths and 7 perfect fourths among the 12 keys. We will play the sequence according to this dial. I just play A4 key. And let's take a pause to see what is on the graph. Every once in a while, the program checks the sound quality. If it's good, which means low noise, a group of vertical lines will show up, which allows you to continue to the next key. I recommend you click next key when two consecutive groups appear within six seconds after you play. The pitch value at the moment of the last group will be recorded, not the moment you click the next key button. Now let's play all 12 keys one by one to find out the cumulative stretch order. It will take a couple minutes to finish. After we finish playing, this pop up window shows up asking us whether we want to save the result since we haven't tuned the piano yet, so we, we don't want to save. But we have to remember the cumulative stretch error, which is minus 3.1 here. We're going to enter it later. Next, we will start to tune the middle octave. Let's click this checkbox again. This pop up window shows up again. We just need to enter the value we just got, which is minus 
First, we will tune A4 key to the standard equal temperament 440 Hz. Here, only A4 key is tuned the standard equal temperament. The other keys are tuned according to the beatings of the perfect fourth and perfect fifth with the adjustment for the stretch error. So for those keys, the tuning error show here does not use the equal temperament as a reference and do not expect equal temperament frequency when the error is zero, although it may be close. After we finish tuning, the pop-up window shows up again, uh, asking whether we want to save the result. Uh, we can click yes to save the result. And the cumulative stretch error we can see here is minus 2.4. It's uh, slightly different from the minus 3.1 we enter, uh, but that's normal. Now the stretch tuning for the middle octave is done. You can continue to tune the other strings and keys according to the relations for the unisons and the octaves.